So our feature file is ready and now let's go and create our step definitions. So by convention, uh, your step definitions need to be in this cucumber test file uh, folder. And let's create a folder and let's name it login. And inside that login folder, we will be creating our steps files and eventually in the future, also the page objects for the login. So, but for now, let's start with the definitions. So I'm going to create login steps.js file. And here we will specify these given when then for this login scenario. So to start, we first need to import those steps from the Cucumber preprocessor. So import given when then and we want to Cucumber preprocessor slash steps. Oops slash steps like this and then let's start with defining our steps so first is given and we need to go and copy this exact text because it will be basically matching by regex like this and here we need to specify the code for this actual step so in our case, we need to call sci dot visit and we, let's grab the URL. So we are here at the zero web app security slash login. So let's copy paste it. Like this. And that's pretty much it. We have our given step ready. So now when the feature will call this line, it will automatically go here and call this uh, code so it will basically visit this url address so let's follow and then we have when i submit login so let's create a when and paste i submit login then we need to do uh, fill username, fill password, and submit the form. So let's do it. So first let's inspect the login. And as you can see, we have an input of ID user login. So let's use it. So we want to call sci.get. ID of user login and we want to type into it and we want to type the username because we already know that the valid credentials for these applications are username and password so let's do the same for the password and as you can see it's input of ID user password so again we can copy it sci.get be just like this and again we want to type and we want to type a password into it and then let's take a look at the sign in button and as you can see we can use the input name submit so we want to sign that get input with name of submit and we want to call the click function on it and yeah that's pretty much it this is how we actually log in so we can delete the comments so our when step is ready and now we need to create the last and that is a then step so I should see home page and I know this is not 
100% correct because this step should probably be for example in the home page steps but for this purposes of this simple tutorial let's keep it like this to not create a confusion and to keep it actually simple because the goal is here is to teach you how to actually do it and some conventions and formatting we can leave it for later and now we need to get some element after login so now let me close this and if i type username password and i press sign in what username password okay we are ready and you know we can now just grab some element so let me just inspect this and as you can see it's an id of account summary tab because you cannot see this if you are not logged in so this can be okay as a check so i want to call sci.get id of account summary tab and we need to call assertion so let's should be visible like this and i think our step definitions are ready so we can now try to run our first test so let's open a terminal and let's do mpx cypress run and hit enter and we have an error and it seems like I have a typo here. So uh, it's in plugin index. So yeah, there should be double S. So upgrade it and save it. And let's run it again. And as you can see, our feature is running. And as you can see, all our specs are passed. And it took approximately three seconds. So yeah, this is it. You have successfully created your first feature file and your first steps. And you have a complete Cypress integrated with Cucumber and BDD. And basically with just this knowledge, you can create uh, many of your own tests. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you some more uh, tips and tricks, such as how to use page objects, etc. So I'm gonna increase your BDD knowledge even more. So, but that's it for now, and let's continue in the next videos.